Hey y'all, this is Adam from Pokeclaw.com. Today in this video, we're going to show you how to skin your bass and get ready for taxidermy. And um, by the way, if you like our videos, go ahead and subscribe. You can check out our videos as soon as they come out. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it. And, uh, if you've got any comments, leave us some and we'll get right back to you. And uh, anyway, let's get started. First off, uh, one of our last videos, we showed you, uh, or told you, took our measurements and uh, showed you how to properly freeze it. <clears throat> and on this particular bass, we're going to do a left turn. And if you check out a left turn, pretty much says which way the head's going to face. And uh, this is a crafty right here, and this is a left turn. And um, basically, with the left turn bass, you're going to flip it over make the incision skin it on the back side so you can cover that up and um, by the way this are our tools we're going to use we had another video um, our last video actually showed you what tools was needed and if you want to check that video out check it out and by the way we have links um, for us the tools if you need any we're amazon affiliates and if you get any that would help us out and um, let's go ahead and get started very first thing is we're going to make one incision from the tail to the gill plate basically just cutting the skin and um, take your scalpel be very careful very sharp some people use scissors but I like the scalpel so better cut go ahead and stick it on in you ain't gonna hurt nothing and uh, make that incision all the way up if you lose a few uh, scales it ain't no big deal it's the back side of the fish make it all the way up about the middle of the fish and uh, all the way up to that gill plate you'll know when you get there it's a hard bone oh my goodness Next step, go ahead and take your snips, snip that gill plate in half. All right, that's the first step. The next step, go ahead and take your uh, fish flushing knife. It's not sharp, but it's enough to cut through that fat and meat. And what you want to do is grab your fish, stick that knife on the inside of the skin. You're not going to cut through the skin. Bass skin is very tough. You ain't got to worry about cutting through it. And you kind of peel that skin back as you're cutting through that meat. And just peel back and cut. You ain't got to worry about going through the skin. Go to the top. Go ahead and do that. Good thing about fish, they're not that bloody. So it ain't that messy. Just keep working your way up. All the way to the top of the gill plate. See, now you can see the, the body. And basically, uh, all that's got to come out. And um, There's bones where these fins go in. The bones go into the skin. We're going to have to cut them. That's why you got your snips. Go ahead and get your snips in between those bones. Just start cutting. Keep your hand on the other side of the skin. Make sure you don't poke through that other side. If you do, it ain't that big a deal. We can fix it. Alright, go on the top side. 
go ahead and hit them bones. Now we're ready to uh, start to get this body out of here. All right, go ahead and take your fleshing knife again. And with your hand on the back side of the fish skin, go ahead and put that knife in between the skin and that meat. And as you can see right there, I'm on the back side, but I'm not on the I didn't go through the skin. I'm on the back side of that meat. And you kind of just peel it back. And right now, see, I'm, I got it all the way through that meat. Take your snips. You want to cut through that backbone. Right through that tailbone. All right. You take your hand and kind of peel it back. You see, it's kind of coming out by itself. You're just going to peel it back and keep using that knife. Keep peeling and scraping on the back side of the skin. And if you want to take chunks out at a time, little bitty chunks, you can with your scissors. I like to get it all at one time. It's a little less. And then if you find you need these snips, just keep on cutting through them fins. And by the way, I like to use my, some people use a big old pizza saucer. I like using a towel. I can just put all the innards of the fish on this towel. A little bit easier to clean up afterwards. You get to the, these top fins. Keep on cutting through. You can feel through there. Once you cut them through, you Grab that gill plate. You can kind of be rough with it. You ain't gonna hurt nothing. Peel that back and take that top gill plate and peel that back. Give you a little more room to work with. Let's see, all right. Keep taking your knife and keep working through there. And you can be rough with it. You ain't gonna hurt this skin. This a bass are a whole lot easier than crappy. Crappy's got soft skin. It's real easy to tear. But the bass. Pretty tough skin. Once you get where you want, you want to take a big chunk out, go ahead and cut that spine with your snips. We want to take everything out except the leave those gills in there. The more fish you do, the faster you'll be able to get for skinning. Just yank and pull and keep cutting. Go ahead and get your scissors. Start to cut that esophagus.
Basically, that's most of the body right there. And that body's going to resemble the mannequin. And um, basically, right, all that's left right now is a bunch of cleanup stuff. We got a couple ribs and some a bunch more meat. Get these ribs out. Take your scissors. Be sure not to cut through the back side of the skin. Then, uh, easier just to take your hand and just pull them out. Alright. Okay, right now, we're going to use our um, scraper. And, um, basically the scraper is going to grab this meat. And it's going to pull it right off. And one thing with bass, you want to make sure you go up and down with the scraper. If you go back and forth, left and right, uh, real easy to uh, stretch the fish where you don't want to stretch it. And you can pop scales off. But basically, get in that meat. Give it a little pressure down. And just start yanking. You ain't going to rip that skin. You gotta get all that meat and fat out. It does a real good job at grabbing that stuff. And if you wanna I get about this point, go ahead and grab you some borax. Just regular powdered borax. Grab you a handful. What that borax does, it dries up some of that blood and um, it gives a little texture to this meat and stuff. So when you start grabbing it with the, it grabs it a little bit better. You can see how easy it's coming off now. You just go back and forth and get as much as you can. And um, we're going to basically clearing all of this out. Everything except the gills and um, brain, eyes, and all that. Get it all out. And um, anyway, I'm going to keep on working on this. Now, you go ahead and work on your bass and go ahead and get it started skinning. We'll see you on the next video where we're finished skinning and uh, get it ready to mount. It's been a pleasure. And uh, by the way, if you like our video, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. And uh, slowly but surely, we're getting our bass ready to mount. And we're going to help you any way we can. All right, God bless. And by the way, check our website out, hookandclaw.com. Have a good night.